so our posts aren't yet settled in the ground but we're gonna go ahead and put the floor base down and then put on the grits and put on the grit and then put on the header and we're gonna see how it goes We made some cuts, now it's on to the next step. Let's get it. We cut all our pieces of wood here. Got our first floorboard on. Wow. We got our grits on. So right here is where we're gonna put it on this side, actually. This is where our nesting boxes will go. Right in between here. Now the other side, we're gonna do a window. Yes, indeed. We on to the next step. My boy Mar here getting it in with me. In trenches, man. You feel me? So we got all the boards cut on the 45. This is the roof framing right here. We about to uh, cut out the floorboard, angle up this floor. And get it rolling. Marley! Get a little pretty boots on. Look at y'all pretty boots. They come out to check on the project. One thing about gardening and farming, it brings out creativity. I needed something to hold it, called my pal. My pal Plank. Yup, just like that. Here's the chicken coop. So far, we're still working on it. Right here is where we have, we'll have our egg basket. Where, where they'll, what do you call it? uh where they lay their eggs i don't know the name of it on this side is the door and the window yep 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 that's the window yes it is inside yep i can show them the inside it's just a sneak peek sneak peek sneak peek you gotta stay tuned to see the finished product but yes sneak peek of this what we're also doing is building the fence so this will be the area where the chickens can run so i've been building this fence with just some of these little poles to keep them stable and 
these little poles along with this poultry fencing. Now I know a lot of y'all are gonna say, why'd you use zip ties? Why didn't you use an electrical fence? Look, it's coming along, Marty. So we gotta get some more siding for that right there. We got the nesting boxes in. Can you lift that up, baby? Nesting boxes are in. Five nesting boxes. You got forces on. Ooh, look at these forces, Marley. They form forces. Yeah. It's coming. Got to add some siding to this side. That's the back. Got to cut. So once I cut this off right here, we're going to be able to fill that in right there. So we got to cut that off. And underneath is high enough so they can run under there and hide in case any predators fly by or walk by. It's coming along. Got it caulked up. Child, welcome into the chicken coop, you feel me? So we're just going through the finishing touches. We got the magnet right here. We're making sure that we get up all the excess extra nails off of the floor. Because we want our chickens to be safe. The most important things about the chicken is making sure they're protected. They got the food, the water that they need. Uh, so yeah, we're just going through, cleaning things up. They was moving out Saturday, but the ass getting out a little bit earlier. Chickens did listen. These look jump out of the mug in the in the ground. They've been trying to jump out. They had a, hit one of them in the throat a couple times. I'm like, oh yeah, we're gonna move y'all move out there up a little early. <laughs> the chickens do not. Yeah, I'm chickens crazy. I'm gonna have to bleep you. For what? Bleep. <laughs> what I say? I'm just telling you the real. <laughs> So this is where the nesting boxes will be, but we're not gonna put the dividers in yet because we don't want, the chickens are still, what, six weeks? And so they're not gonna lay eggs until 16 to 24 weeks. And so we'll put the dividers in then because we don't want them thinking it's okay to go sleep in there and poop in there and do whatever else in there. It's just for nesting boxes. You know, we got the buckets. Oh, the next thing we're gonna do is, so my mom had a great idea. So, uh, so to make it easier to clean this out, I'm gonna put a blue tarp over this, on the bottom of this, and then I'm gonna put the hay and the wood shavers on top. And so when we go to clean it, I just gotta pull out the, the blue tarp. All right, so what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take these shavings, Spread them all at the bottom to cover up the whole blue tarp. Got it? So we got the food hanging up on the ratchet strap and the water right here on the cinder block. And it's time to move them in. Where's the other one? 
246. This is there. I don't see the They so hungry. All they care about is coming to get the food. Y'all like y'all new crib? So how they gonna you should put out? a ramp there. See if they come down. Use the yellow thing. Where well, yeah, they found their food already. Stay down. Yeah. Come on, get down. Dang, slow down, gang. The chickens are finally in their coop. You like it? They hungry in the mug. We got the food hanging, we got the water in there. We are not keeping the food in there. We're gonna keep the water in there, but just so they know where their home is, throw some food in there and it's on and popping. Come on, come down. Say bird. Right, chicken. Oh. Say no, we don't eat our friends. <laughs> Say bird. <laughs> Say hi bird. <laughs> they came out. They're just jumping down. I think we need to put steps on the ramp because they just jumped off the ramp. Come on! Hey, you can do it! Come on, you can do it! Come on! Jump! There you go! There's one more. What you doing? Oh, you're the shy one. You're so shy. They left you. You gotta come this way. Come on. What's she doing? Hiding on a rock. Somebody grab her out. Guess she gotta walk around with them. Come on. They eat lentil beans.